Welcome to today's installment of Tenkara Angler, Things I Like. Okay, today on Tenkara Angler, Things I Like, I'm going to talk about three things that I enjoy quite a bit, and I hope you enjoy too. The first one is the concept of 11-foot rods, or rods that are 330 centimeters in length. I don't know what it is about those rods, but that's the Goldilocks length for me. It always has been, perhaps because the first rod that I ever fished um, as a Tenkara angler um, was a Tenkara USA Iwana, which at the time was offered in both an 11 and a 12 foot. I opted for the 11, and it was the rod that I used probably for the first four or five years of my Tenkara angling. Um, I got really used to the length, understanding, you know, where I could hit different spots with different length lines. Um, and it really became a rod that I favor, a length that I favored as I purchased additional rods in the future. Since then, I haven't really swayed that much from that 337 um, or 330 centimeter length. Um, you know, one of my favorite rods today is actually 320 centimeters. It's the, uh, the Nishin Royal Stage 320. Um, this is a really sweet rod. If you ever get a chance to fish this one, I highly recommend it. Um, another favorite of mine is the Oni Type 3, which is a 340 centimeter rod, only 10 centimeters longer, but still, you know, kind of in that 11 foot range. This rod has a pedigree, you know, unlike most others. Everybody that's always fished, that's ever fished this rod, you know, instantly falls in love with it. Um, and then the rod that I've been playing around quite a bit with lately um, is the River Peak Kiwami. Uh, 33, uh, which obviously is a 330 centimeter rod. Um, this rod's a little bit slow um, in terms of its action, but it's really fun to fish. Um, and again, you know, in that 11 foot uh, range. Um, so, you know, I don't know what your favorite rods are. Some people may like 12, some people might like 13. Some people might really prefer really small ones like eight or nine. Um, I feel the 11's great. I feel like usually when you buy an 11 foot rod, um, they tend to be on the lighter side, um, which is nice. You know, it's kind of like a, to make a joke, a magic wand um, that you're out there. You're orchestrating a symphony, uh, you know, while you're fishing. Um, and then I also kind of, uh, you know, note that if you ever do buy rods that are in the similar make, um, for example, this Royal Stage, um, you know, this 320 acts quite a bit different than its bigger brothers, the 360 or, you know, 390, any of the rods. Um, that have are longer lengths. This just seems to be a really sweet spot for rods and, um, you know, one that I seem to uh, really enjoy. The next thing I like that I wanted to talk about is something that's actually going on in the Tenkara community right now. Um, our friend Lady Tenkara Bum, uh, Amanda Hoffner, um, has put together or commissioned some artwork um, from an artist named Ryan Keene um, that helps support um, LGBTQ plus community, um, you know, feel supported um, in the outdoors. I'll show you a little, I'll show you this sticker right here. Hopefully it shows up well um, on the screen. Um, if not, I'll put a, I'll put a picture um, somewhere on, on the screen as an inset. Um, but the sticker, it's really cool. I mean, even the sentiment aside, if you just look at the artwork, Ryan did a great job with this. It's a beautiful brook trout with a kabari in its mouth and, um, you know, the rainbow um, right beneath it. But I mean, if you just look at it, you know, it doesn't scream, you know, rainbow or anything like that. It's just really, really cool fish art. Lady Tenkarabum is selling these on her Etsy website currently um, with proceeds going to the Venture Out Project, um, which is a group that empowers people of all identities to seek out the outdoors. As far as we're concerned at Tenkara Angler, that's what we're all about. You know, we support the Tenkara community no matter how you identify um, or what you like to fish for or anything, or the more the merrier as far as we're concerned. So um, if this is something that interests you, uh, we highly recommend you take, at, take a look at Lady Tenkara Bum's Etsy website. I think she's selling them for three or four bucks. I forget which one it is exactly. Um, and uh, we'll put a link in the, uh, in the video description for you to, to find them relatively easily. The last thing I wanted to talk about on things that, that I like today um, might come off as a little bit strange considering that Tenkara Angler got its start as a magazine, but um, I've really taken a liking to reading um, Gray's Sporting Journal. Um, I was served up a uh, discount offer for a subscription um, online uh, probably about a year or so ago, and I decided to take the plunge. I'm always curious to see what other people are doing when it comes to uh, print media. 
um, you know, obviously there's things that we could learn at Ten Car Angler to make our magazine even better. Um, and as you page through it, um, you just get taken aback by all of the wonderful photography, um, artwork, um, and of course the quality, you know, of the writing that's inside. It's fantastic. It's a lot of storytelling, um, a lot of things, quite honestly, that I would love Tenkara Angler to be, um, you know, in the future. This one happens to be April's fly fishing edition, but, um, you know, since this is a sporting journal, there are different flavors of the issues. Um, you know, there's anything from hunting to wing shooting to, you know, you, you kind of name it, any kind of outdoor pursuits. But um, it's an excellent magazine. And if you do still like getting paper magazines to kind of sit back in a chair and read page through, you know, that sort of thing, um, I highly recommend it. I think you'll really enjoy it. So that concludes this installment of Tenkara Angler, Things I Like. We'll make sure to put links to all the topics covered in our YouTube video description for easy access. Speaking of YouTube, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications. It'll let us know that you enjoy what we're doing and encourage us to make more of these videos. Until next time, good luck on the water and tight lines.